Star Wars 7x7 episode 2693. Happy Life Day to you. It is November 17th, the anniversary of the debut of the Star Wars Holiday Special back in 1978. And I've gone back into the archives because I don't remember what my <laughs> reaction was when I was a kid and that thing came on. But I do actually have documented my reactions to it when I first watched it again in 2014. Punch it. Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. So, way back in November of 2014, when the podcast was pretty brand new, it had only started in July, Life Day came along and I celebrated the way that I thought would be a good way to celebrate by revisiting that holiday classic, the Star Wars Holiday Special. Well, it's rather difficult to come across, I mean, sort of, like you can't get copies anywhere, but you can find them on YouTube, and even the video that I had linked back at the blog post for the show's episode at SW7X7.com back in 2014, that particular copy went offline, and so I ended up finding a new link and updating that, and I will also be including the link to the YouTube video that I found, so that way, if you want to check it out for yourself... <laughs> <laughs> you know, fair warning, right? You've heard the rumors, you know the reputation if you haven't seen it yet, but it'll be linked at this episode of the podcast at SW7X7.com and also in the show notes. So that's what we're going to be talking about over the next four days because you can pretty well neatly break up the Star Wars Holiday Special into four segments. It was a two-hour variety special when it debuted in 1978. So, yeah, you know, 30 minutes-ish, you know, give or take with the commercials, right? 22 minutes. And for today, I've pulled out the first of the episodes that I did. This is episode 137, all right? That's how <laughs> far back we're talking, right? Where I watched the first quarter of the Star Wars Holiday Special. And listening back to this episode, look, I'm 99% sure that no alcohol was involved in this, but the way that I'm laughing throughout recording this, tells me that I must have just been shell-shocked by what I was watching with this thing. At the time, I labeled it the 30 most boring minutes of my life so far, thinking that <laughs> the rest of it was going to be boring. It wasn't. <laughs> there were other strange emotions involved, but yeah, I'm going to set the table there and, you know, let's just jump in. This is my recording, my thoughts back in 2014, re-watching the first quarter of the Star Wars Holiday Special for the first time. Okay, yes, enough of the pleasantries. All right, so did you know the first half hour of the Star Wars Holiday Special includes nine straight minutes of nothing but unsubtitled Wookiee dialogue. Yes, nine straight minutes. <laughs> yes, punctuated by some odd holographic Cirque du Soleil routine as in-house Wookiee entertainment, but still nine whole minutes. <laughs> and supposedly this is a major part of what Lucas had contributed as the idea for the special in the first place. It's almost no wonder the Hollywood writers decided they had to graft something onto it resembling the day's style of entertainment. Oh my. <sighs> Let's just talk about it. Let's get into the Force feature and get into this uh, first 30 minutes of the Star Wars Holiday Special. Because aside from, you know, knocking off about half of that first 30 minutes due to Wookiee dialogue and pantomime. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Um, <laughs> the other 90% you can knock off by <laughs> trying briefly to describe a skit involving... Art Carney as a shopkeeper with an Imperial who comes in and decides that he's not going to buy a groomer that can also somehow recite all 17 sections of the Imperial Code, but he's just going to take it from Art Carney, and Art Carney's going to go, oh, well, yeah, that happens. <laughs> <laughs> and also gives a very um, poorly coded f uh, message to Mala, uh, Chewbacca's wife, about how Han and Chewie are on their way uh, with the Imperial officer in there. And the Imperial officer in completely unaware. I mean, should have been going, what? What are you saying? What? <laughs> 
absolutely ludicrous. And also Harvey Corman in what was supposed to be, I'm sure, a Carol Burnett style silly type of uh, scene with him teaching a cooking show style thing and suddenly like the third and a fourth hand sprout out of nowhere to his random crazy alien like, giant costume. Oh brother. Oh brother. I can tell you as a kid though, the thing that would have excited me the most was the scenes of Han and Chewie actually trying to get to Kashyyyk and they're in being attacked by TIE fighters and uh, flying away from Star Destroyers. All the footage from space is of footage from Star Wars, but it doesn't matter because it's actually edited and cut very well and the scenes of the two of them in the cockpit, they still have their actual, you know, charismatic banter going on. So that at least was something that was palatable for the few short seconds that we had of that. And there's also a bit with Luke and R2-D2 as R2-D2, Kenny Baker, not being credited, unfortunately. <laughs> Trying to fix an X-Wing with comically disastrous results while Luke tries to assure Mala that Chewie and Han will get there on time eventually. And doing a passable job of understanding Wookiee even though he's not supposed to understand Wookiee. So... <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Well, that's one half hour down and a couple more to go. So stick with us and let's have fun with it together. There you go. That is me back in 2014 starting to watch the holiday special again for the first time as an adult. And man, oh, man, it's only going to get weirder. So stick with me for that. And thank you very much for joining me for today's episode. Once again, happy Life Day to you. And may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Star Wars 7x7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited. Other respective trademark and copyright holders, may the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2021 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.